All right, we go where the blessings reside, where the blessings reside, where the blessings reside, where the blessings reside. Now, I don't told y'all before, you know what we do. We giving out food baskets, hand sanitizer too. You better ask somebody because we do this all the time. What's up, y'all? What is up? And welcome back to my channel. My name is Erica, but you can call me EJ. And y'all, today we are just going to be doing a quick recap over P Valley Season 2. Episode two, just giving you my quick thoughts on the episode and kind of just going over what happened. Uh, this may be a little bit of a spoiler. So if you have not watched the episode, then you definitely want to go watch the episode, but I won't be going too in depth. So let's go ahead and get into it, y'all. So basically on this episode, uh, you know, the pink, they're going to be holding their auditions. You know, of course, I, Autumn is on that boss bullshit. Um, you know, I don't know what it is with her, but she is definitely taking this boss thing to new levels. I know she's trying to get the club together, but come on. Now, now Mercedes um, was given the task of being able to pick who the new dancers were going to be. So she picked Whisper and Roulette. And of course, Autumn pulled the flex moved and picked to big bone as well but of course Mercedes you know wasn't having that she didn't want her on her pole so she's going to be on the bar uh Corbin and Andre are going to try to buy out the pink for like a half a million but ain't nobody trying to sell uh Derek is still on some I'm mad at you diamond kind of shit and he trying to get him arrested fortunately the sheriff is like yeah we not having that we got to arrest you too so uh, that kind of happens. You're going to see a little rift between Roulette and Mercedes right from the jump. Uh, you can tell that they're not really going to get along. Uh, Roulette is kind of cocky, y'all. I mean, I'm kind of feeling this character already. She going to be some trouble. Um, Autumn uh, schedules the reopening uh, on Uncle Cliff's birthday. So, you know, she already messed up. In her defense, she didn't know it was his birthday. But when she found out, I mean, she could have just switched it up but I mean the flyers were already made so I'm gonna give her a pass on that one uh but y'all <laughs> Patricia Woodbine she was doing too much she played too much I cannot with her where the <laughs> what she say uh where the blessings reside where the blessings reside <laughs> anyway uh yeah Patricia she be doing too much but anyway y'all little murder is gonna show up and try to apologize to Uncle Cliff you know, it felt like a real heartfelt apology, too. So I don't know, Uncle Cliff, you might want to. I don't know. We'll see. Now, Andre uh, becomes the executor of uh, Mayor Tydell's estate. So he's going to end up staying in Mississippi for for Mississippi Minute. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. I was so goofy today. He's going to end up staying in Chuckalisa for Mississippi Minute. Yeah, Autumn is going to try to run the pink. She's going to find out that uh, shit don't work right without Uncle Clifford. You know what I'm saying? Nobody's following Uncle Clifford rules when Uncle Clifford not there. Uh, Uncle Clifford going to get kidnapped. Basically, it's just for his 40th birthday, though. Um, and, you know, his friends are going to show him a good time. That was a lit party, though. I ain't going to lie. I wish I could have been at that. Uncle Cliff is basically going to get his freak on. You know what I'm saying? You know what they say about trying to get over one person, and just get up under another one. So it looked like that's what Uncle Cliff trying to do. Mercedes has kind of lost her her control you know like in the club per se you know roulette like I said she is she is definitely uh not trying to hear that following you type of thing she owns some I'm gonna do my own type of thing uh but anyway they kind of go whisper and roulette kind of go rogue on the pole uh so you know that's gonna be a whole situation so that's gonna be interesting to see where this kind of goes but Mercedes is gonna fall off the pole uh so they're gonna take her to diamond y'all now I don't know if anybody else was just as shocked by this as I was but y'all apparently diamond is a man of many talents and I'm here for it uh turns out we're going to find out that Mercedes is the one that actually pulled the trigger, y'all. Uh, and this explains why she went to her mom. Y'all remember in that episode where she goes to her mom and she's talking about for forgiveness. And it explains why she was so shook. And then he's going to do some kind of thing. I don't know, like some hoodoo or something. I, I don't know. But Diamond, I don't know. I would not mess with Diamond. Like, I, Diamond is not to be played with, y'all. Like, for real, for real. Derek better sit his ass down. So y'all know Derek got Diamond fired from the dollar store. So nine times out of 10, Diamond going to end back up at the club. What's her name does ask him to come back to the club. Um, but yeah, Derek old bitch ass is going to get him fired. Excuse my language, y'all. 
So Mercedes is just kind of over the whole situation with Autumn and she blames her, you know, for what's happened and her nightmares because, you know, she's killed the person and she blames her for that and she just can't deal with her no more. So she's basically going to kick her out. So this is definitely going to be a interesting uh, storyline to follow as this kind of develops more and you get to see where Mercedes and Autumn relationship kind of travels. It turns out that Tydell, he ain't so trifling as I thought he was, y'all. He just a little trifling, not too trifling. But it turns out he was paying the entire street's water bill. Now, of course, he was probably paying it with the money from the mayor's office, you know, from the city money. But still, I mean, <laughs> I'm going to say that that, you know, <laughs> definitely was a Robin Hood move. But anyway, uh, Derek is doing the most. And Mississippi, of course, is trying to break free. And she uh, basically manipulates him into being able to go out on this whole murder night. You can tell she's pretty sharp when it comes to it, as far as thinking on her feet and thinking, you know, things through. She just ain't so sharp in trying to get out this relationship and definitely not trying to downplay this whole situation. Uh, you know, I understand that it could be hard trying to get out of these types of situations, but she does seem to, uh, you know, think quick on her feet and she was able to manipulate this whole thing. So that's what's up with that. So anyway, uh, we're going to get to meet the new character, Big Teak. Uh, I already like this dude already. He didn't have that much of a, he didn't do a whole lot, but just the parts that he, that he was in, I was like, yeah, I'm going to like this character. Uh, so y'all, the pink reopened and they done fooled around and let uh, Big L, <laughs> they don't let Big L actually be the DJ crazy. So anyway, those were some of the major things that happened on the show. Um yeah, definitely can't wait to dive into this episode a little bit more. Yeah, so if you saw the episode, then let me know what you thought about the episode. Go ahead and drop your comments and tell me what you think is going to happen, your predictions and all that good stuff. Um, and, you know, what you're hoping is going to happen between Autumn and Mercedes, where you think their relationship is going to go. Um, and just anything else that you want to comment on uh, in regards to the show. All right, guys, until next time. Peace.